sometime during your education, you were probably handed a piece of graph paper. It was probably not as cool as this graph paper, but it performed the same function. When you were being taught to use the graph paper, you were instructed to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line that intersected somewhere in the middle of the paper. You were then told that one line was to be labeled the x-axis and the other was to be labeled the y-axis. Where those lines intersected was called the origin and was labeled zero. In both directions moving away from zero, numbers were added. One, two, three, four, But on five, the numbers to the left six, of zero, seven, the numbers were given a negative value. Negative one, negative two, the negative The same treatment three, was given to the numbers four. on the vertical line. Positive values in one direction. One, two, three and negative values going in the other. Negative one, negative two. This system is a two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system named after the French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes. We, however, live in a three-dimensional world. In the robot world, we call the front to back axis X, the left to right axis Y, and the up and down axis Z. We use Cartesian coordinate systems to move the robot's end effector in straight lines, front to back, left to right, and up and down. Different robot manufacturers have different names for these systems. In the FANUC world, they refer to those systems as frames. A FANUC robot is shipped with two types of frames programmed into it, user frames and tool frames. The shipped user frame has its origin fixed at the center of the base of the robot, at the height of joint motor 2. This system is called user frame 0 and is also referred to as the world coordinate system. The second coordinate system has its origin at the center of the faceplate of the robot, and its orientation moves with the faceplate of the robot. This system is called User Tool Zero. These two coordinate systems can be used to move the robot, but more importantly, they can be used to create additional user and tool frames. There is a second use for coordinate systems beyond describing a point in space. Coordinate systems are also used to describe orientation. Orientation can describe the angling or rotation of a tool, side to side, front to back, clockwise or counterclockwise. Those directions are also commonly described as yaw, pitch, and roll. In a manufacturing environment, we see the frame at the base of the robot, but we also see tool frames of end effectors, remote tool center points for ped welders and sealer applications. We also see user coordinate systems of tooling fixtures when the tooling is not square to the base of the robot. These frames are used to create points and programs used in motion instructions and describe location and orientation in a cell. I'm sure you've heard the terms frame of reference and point of view before. They mean relative to a certain vantage point, this is the way things look. When you frame something, you formulate and create a concept, plan, or system. When a user tool or frame is created, that's exactly what it is. A system created for a specific vantage, literally a frame of reference.